Imagine the time when celluloid dreams swirled with mystical allure, and the silver screen transported you to realms where Jenny's granted wishes. Mythical creatures roared, and ancient treasures beckoned. In the golden haze of 1973, a cinematic gem emerged, etching itself into the memories of those lucky enough to witness its enchantment. The golden voyage of Sinbad, the mere utterance of its name conjures echoes of adventure, magic, and a youthful sense of wonder. Do you remember that first encounter? Perhaps it was a dimly lit theater where the scent of buttered popcorn mingled with the palpable excitement of anticipation. Or maybe it was a cozy living room, the glow of the television casting dancing shadows as the tale of Sinbad unfurled before your wide-eyed gaze. Sinbad's journey was your journey, a voyage across an ocean of imagination, where the mysterious and the extraordinary awaited at every turn. The swashbuckling hero, the shimmering amulet, the siren call of distant lands, these were the elements that wove the tapestry of your cinematic voyage. And what of those moments that still cling to your memory like ancient treasures? Was it the clash of swords in a perilous duel? The awe-inspiring sight of the magical homunculus? Or the hauntingly beautiful dance of the stunning Caroline Munro as Margiana? As we embark on a journey of our own, let's set the stage with some random facts about this cinematic treasure from 1973, diving deeper into the lore and legacy of the golden voyage of Sinbad. So, sit back, relax, and prepare to unearth some hidden treasures of knowledge about this timeless classic. The Golden Voyage of Sinbad, a 1973 adventure fantasy film, directed by Gordon Hessler, is a classic in the genre. Part of the Sinbad film series, it drew inspiration from Arabian Nights tales, following the legendary sailor Sinbad on a quest to find a mysterious, ancient treasure. The film's unique style lies in its impressive stop-motion animation by Ray Harryhausen, featuring fantastical creatures like the Cyclops and the Griffin, which became iconic elements of the movie. The characters, notably Sinbad portrayed by John Philip Law and his enigmatic companion, the Grand Vizier played by Douglas Wilmer, are memorable figures in the film. The intricate plot revolves around the search for a magical amulet, with encounters with mythical beings and mystical adventures. The golden voyage of Sinbad had a lasting impact on popular culture, influencing subsequent fantasy films and television series with its imaginative storytelling and innovative special effects. Ray Harryhausen's stop-motion animation in particular set a benchmark for creature design that continues to be admired and emulated in the industry. This film remains a timeless testament to the power of classic storytelling and visual creativity, captivating audiences even decades after its release. In the 1973 movie The Golden Voyage of Sinbad, there's an interesting story involving actor Robert Shaw. Shaw, a friend of the film's producer Charles H. Schneer, was persuaded to take on the role of the Oracle of All Knowledge. However, Shaw didn't want any credit for his part in the film considering the genre beneath his popularity at the time. To disguise his appearance, his face was heavily covered in makeup, and his voice was electronically altered by a sound engineer. Despite only working for about 20 minutes, Shaw was paid 5,000 pounds for his contribution to the movie. While Robert Shaw played the Oracle, another notable actor, Christopher Lee, was a strong contender for a role in the film. Although it's unclear which specific role he was considered for, Lee's involvement in the project adds an intriguing layer to the casting decisions. As a bonus tidbit, Ray Harryhausen's early concept art for the movie revealed an interesting twist. Originally, the creature that fights the one-eyed centaur was planned to be a Neanderthal man. This concept eventually evolved into the troglodyte featured in Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger in 1977. So, whether it's Robert Shaw's uncredited role, Christopher Lee's potential involvement, or the fascinating evolution of creature concepts, the golden voyage of Sinbad holds its own share of intriguing facts from behind the scenes. In 1973, the film The Golden Voyage of Sinbad sailed into theaters, bringing with it a few intriguing facts. One notable tidbit is that this movie played a crucial role in Tom Baker landing the iconic role of the fourth Doctor in the long-running series Doctor Who. Producer Barry Letts caught wind of Baker shortly before casting for The Doctor was underway. After watching the film, he was so impressed with Baker's performance that he decided to cast him as the fourth Doctor, a role that would define Baker's career in the world of sci-fi. 
Additionally, the golden voyage of Sinbad marked the middle chapter in a trilogy of Sinbad adventures crafted by the legendary stop-motion animator Ray Harryhausen for Columbia Pictures. The trilogy commenced with the seventh voyage of Sinbad in 1958 and concluded with Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger in 1977. Harry Hawson's innovative special effects and imaginative creatures left an indelible mark on the fantasy genre. Harry Hawson also paid homage to the 1940 film The Thief of Baghdad and The Golden Voyage of Sinbad. Both films shared the same composer, and the dance of Kali in the 1973 film borrowed moves from the six-armed robot in The Thief of Baghdad. The Hindu-style temple in the 1940 film found echoes in the carvings of Lemuria, and the appearance of the Lemurians was influenced by the earlier classic. This interplay of cinematic inspirations adds depth to the movie for those familiar with both works. So, there you have it, some intriguing facts about the golden voyage of Sinbad, from its role in Tom Baker's career to its place in Ray Harryhausen's trilogy and its nods to cinematic predecessors. It's a cinematic journey filled with adventure and homage. In 1973, the movie The Golden Voyage of Sinbad sailed onto the silver screen, captivating audiences with its fantastical adventures. Amid the magic and mayhem, one intriguing fact stands out. Robert Shaw, a well-known actor, took on the role of the oracle of all knowledge in the film. Shaw, a friend of the movie's producer, Charles H. Schneer, agreed to the part as a favor. However, he had a unique request. He didn't want any credit for his role. At that time, Shaw was a highly popular actor, and some felt the genre of the film was beneath him. To become the mystical oracle, his face was hidden beneath layers of makeup, and a sound engineer electronically altered his voice. For a mere 20 minutes of work, Shaw received 5,000 pounds. The movie also holds a secret about its exotic locations. When Sinbad and his crew land on Lemuria, an enchanting cliff covered in intricate carvings adorns the left side of the beach. But here's the twist, that cliff wasn't real. According to Ray Harryhausen, the special effects wizard behind the film, the scene was shot on a picturesque beach in Spain. The cliff was nothing more than a cleverly crafted matte painting designed to hide the curious onlookers. So, while the golden voyage of Sinbad dazzled audiences with its mythical tales and daring escapades, these behind-the-scenes facts add a touch of intrigue to the film's legacy. Robert Shaw's hidden role in The Phantom Cliff remind us that even in the world of fantasy, there are secrets waiting to be uncovered. And that's a glimpse into the lesser-known aspects of the 1973 movie The Golden Voyage of Sinbad. The Golden Voyage of Sinbad is the second of three Sinbad films made by Ray Harryhausen for Columbia Pictures. The other two are The Seventh Voyage of Sinbad from 1958 and Sinbad, and The Eye of the Tiger released in 1977. Ray Harryhausen had a sequence planned for the movie called The Valley of the Vipers. It featured both real snakes and giant stop-motion animated snakes. However, the film's producer, Charles H. Schneer, didn't like the idea. He was afraid that the snake scene would disturb pregnant women, so it never made it into the final cut. Interestingly, early concept art by Ray Harryhausen showed that the griffin, which battles a one-eyed centaur in the film, was originally intended to be a Neanderthal man. This concept of a Neanderthal man later became the troglodyte in Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger in 1977. These are some lesser-known facts about the golden voyage of Sinbad offering insights into the making of this classic adventure film, and unveiling the shadows, the ongoing battle against harassment in Hollywood and its impact on the golden voyage of Sinbad's cast member in 1973. The film industry witnessed the release of the golden voyage of Sinbad. While the movie itself garnered attention for its adventurous storyline and special effects, a lesser known but crucial aspect was the experience of one of its cast members. Amidst the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, harassment and assault silently plagued many actors. Here, we shed light on the issue and its impact on a member of the golden voyage of Sinbad. Harassment in Hollywood was, and unfortunately still is, a painful reality. During the filming of this fantasy adventure, a cast member faced a traumatic experience behind the scenes. Their identity has been kept confidential for years, but the repercussions of their ordeal continue to resonate in the industry. The cast member, whose identity remains undisclosed, battled the shadows of harassment. Their departure from Hollywood was not a choice driven by career aspirations, 
but rather a response to the trauma they endured. Legal battles and unjust accusations added to their suffering, leaving their innocence shattered. In the wake of the Me Too movement and increased awareness about harassment in the entertainment industry, some light has been shed on the issue. However, the scars from the past run deep. The cast member's painful journey is a stark reminder of the ongoing battle against harassment in Hollywood. While the golden voyage of Sinbad remains a classic in cinema, it also serves as a symbol of the challenges faced by those who have endured harassment. The cast member's story is a testament to the resilience required to survive such a traumatic experience. As we continue to discuss and address the issue of harassment and assault in Hollywood, it is essential to remember the real people who have been affected, like the cast member from The Golden Voyage of Sinbad. Their experience, though hidden for years, is a crucial part of the larger conversation about creating a safer and more respectful industry. In conclusion, The Golden Voyage of Sinbad may be a beloved fantasy film, but it also harbors a dark tale of harassment and its lasting impact on a cast member. This story underscores the importance of confronting and addressing harassment in Hollywood so that no one else has to endure a similar ordeal. The battle against harassment in the entertainment industry continues, and it's a battle worth fighting for the sake of all those who have suffered in silence. As we sail towards the conclusion of this cinematic voyage, I encourage you to take a moment and reflect on your own personal connection with the golden voyage of Sinbad. Like the treasures Sinbad and his crew sought on their mythical journey, this film has likely unearthed precious memories and emotions within you. Perhaps it's the enchanting allure of Ray Harryhausen's stop-motion creatures that still captivates your imagination, or the swashbuckling adventures that whisk you away to a world of daring heroes and fearsome monsters. Maybe it's the timeless themes of bravery, honor, and the triumph of good over evil that resonate with you even today. Now, I invite you to share your cherished memories or thoughts about this cinematic gem. What moments left you spellbound, and which characters etched themselves into your heart? Whether you first encountered it in a darkened theater, on a cozy movie night at home, or in any other unique circumstance, your perspective adds another layer to the rich tapestry of this classic. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the sands of time and the high seas of adventure. Your time and interest in the golden voyage of Sinbad are truly appreciated. Keep the magic alive by sharing your thoughts, and let us continue to celebrate the enduring legacy of this cinematic masterpiece. Warm regards, and until our next cinematic odyssey.